Nearly two weeks have passed since four council members walked out while trying to appoint new members. That means still no nominees yet for District 1, 6, as well as Super District 8. Yep, and Local 24 political analyst Oda Sanford says the fairest way to do it now is to hold a special election, but that could be costly. Here's tonight's point of view. It's another week, which means another chance for the city council to regain a bit of credibility over how it conducts the public's business. It won't be easy, of course. The 10 remaining council members have not had a productive meeting together in about a month. And unless some of them have had a change of heart, tomorrow's meeting likely will produce only more of the same discord. The council is supposed to appoint three new interim members to represent Districts 1 and 6 and Super District 8 Position 2. But judging by the rancor that has consumed the council of late, who knows if any of the positions will be filled at all. The greatest contention has been over the District 1 seat. Heavy pressure is being applied for the council to appoint Raleigh community leader Rhonda Logan, who was the only candidate to get six of the required seven votes during a nine-hour marathon meeting November 20th. But now, two of Logan's original supporters are no longer on the council, and that means seven votes will be tough to get. Meanwhile, some are calling for all three vacancies to be filled in a special election, perhaps next month. And the idea seems to be gaining traction as a good alternative. Yes, it will be costly. But with the ineffectiveness of the council right now, an election just might be money well spent. And that's my point of view. I'm Otis Sanford for Local 24 News.